used. What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we're going on a toy hunt at Target. We got to uh, wear the mask, you know. We got the mask in hand. I got my whatever the hell mask this is. And we got the wifey with us. And we're going to go on a toy hunt. I don't expect much. This place is absolutely just slam packed. So I'm sure whatever they did have is gone already. But we're going to go in there. We're probably going to hit a couple more stores as well. But uh, let's go ahead and hit the aisle and see what they got. All right, guys, store number one. Let's see what we got right here. It looks like we got some Ultimate Editions in the house. A few basic series right here. Got Wifey on the camera. So we got some Finn Balor, Alexa Bliss, AJ Styles, Wendy Richter, Network Spotlight, Top Picks, Finn Balor, and AJ Styles. I mean, what are we doing here, Brad? Wendy Richter, only Network Spotlight left. Don't need any of this. Ultimate Edition Shinsuke. Ultimate Edition Bret Hart. I mean, these these are solid, you know. They're, they're not too bad right there. I think this Bret Hart goes for a little bit, but don't really need any of this stuff. Top picks, Finn Balor and AJ Styles is kind of crazy. Those figures are like two years old. Nothing else, really, though. I mean, yeah, not really. You got Matt Hardy up here, WrestleMania 36. Not even in the company. Saw a little set, but do not need it. All right, guys, well, Target was absolute garbage. Now we're at this place called Ollie's. If you guys have never heard of Ollie's, it's got, like, a bunch of stuff for cheap, you know? It says good stuff, cheap bargain outlet. It's basically, you know, like, I've, I've seen, like, memes where there's been, like, 64 Pete Dunn's here before, which I highly doubt. I guarantee you there will be basics and battle packs, and I'm guaranteeing somebody that follows the channel $500 if there's not a Fandango and Tyler Breeze Fashion Police White Attire Battle Pack. That's always here. Every time I come we're going to find out and see if it's still here. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to go inside and find out. They'll probably have either nothing or that John Brown battle pack. You have to kind of just, like, venture around to find the figures. But this used to be Kmart. And this is where I used to come to try and find figures. And they would always have the same stuff over and over. And then the Kmart shut down because I wouldn't buy nothing. So now I regret that. <laughs> <sighs> they used to have the Finding Moments Hulk Hogan. That was it. Remember their sales would be like $3.99 and say, on sale, $3.98. Literally, they'd have one cent sales. <laughs> it would be the two pack with the Rock and Farouk, and it would be $40.99 or $39.99, and it would be on sale, $39.98. What was that at? What was what? What was that, those figures at? Here we found those battle packs. Oh, another one. Down in there. So, guys, they didn't have the Fashion Police, but they did have Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, which is old AF. That's back when, nah, that's back when they still had the garbage articulation, but they also have Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. So, it's not, you know, the Fashion Police, but it's still garbage. Not something I'd want, but this won't go back on the thing, so we're just gonna. We're just gonna lay it right there. And that's pretty much it, you know, for WWE at least. Got some random stuff, some pops, and eh, that's pretty much it. On to the next one. All right, guys, we're on to the next location, which is going to be Walmart. I feel like I just yelled for no reason. Anyways, we're at Walmart. They are absolutely packed. I think this door down here is actually closed because that whole side of the parking lot is absolutely stacked, which makes me sick because I don't like to film in stores when there's 100 people. I don't even like filming in stores if it was empty, Brad. I see people going in this door. Psych, they got rejected. That's sad. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we'll see you on the aisle. We're going to go up in this store and see if they got anything. Maybe Elite 76, maybe something else. But uh, we're probably going to go to Big Lots after this, possibly another Walmart. But uh, just stay tuned. We'll see what they got. Total swap the fig, bro. Elite 40 John Cena. What in the hell is that accessory? Is that a purse? I don't know, but that's an Elite 40 because this is what it's supposed to look like. Elite 76 John Cena. And then you have the Swap the Fig where somebody put some flat palm hands and an Elite 40 John Cena in there with a random purse. And they marked it down, at least. So if you want a $14 Elite 40 John Cena, there you go. And we got Velveteen Dream and Ricochet. Solid little battle pack. 
Alistair Black, not bad. A little EC3 action, not even in the company anymore, so that's pretty good. Matt Hardy, not in the company anymore. More Hardys. Pretty decent battle pack. I don't know if I want it, though. Bunch of Alexa Bliss and AJ Styles. Shinsuke in the blue. And that's pretty much it besides these. I don't even know what these are worth. Triple H, Ultimate Warrior, Finn Balor. I don't know what these are worth. I'm sure somebody will let me know down in the comment section below. Bianca Belair, AJ Styles. And that's pretty much it. Interesting. And they got the brand new MDT bike. All right, guys, we're at the next location, which is Big Lots. I was actually in here the other day, and they had uh, a couple things. So maybe they'll actually have something here. I want to make a purchase on this toy hunt, so we'll probably do that here. They actually had some sick-ass Hot Wheels in there, and I'm not a Hot Wheels guy, but these were pretty flames, fire, nasty. But I'll see you guys when we get in there. All right, guys, it looks like they have the same battle packs or basics that they had last time. WrestleMania 36 basics, Becky Lynch. Got a couple Seth Rollins. Probably going to grab one of these for sure. Got one of those. What else do we have here? This is a basic Daniel Bryan. Got the basic 104 Bryan. Pretty good head sculpt on that guy. What else do we got? We got some more in the series. We got Shane McMahon, WrestleMania 36. We got Batista in the wave as well. Terrible head sculpt on that. I like the shoes on it, but the, the head sculpt is terrible. Here's the Hot Wheels I was talking about. Look how sick the AJ Styles looks. And then the Finn Balor one, I think, is my favorite. That, look just, that just looks so sick. And I'm not a Hot Wheels guy, but... These are pretty freaking cool. And here is the Seth Rollins that I actually hid last time. Reaching, mm, reaching back here, guys. We got WrestleMania 36 Rollins. I'm probably going to put that back because I'm going to buy two of the Rollins. And then, uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to buy two of the Rollins, and then we're going to put the other one back secretly. I would pick up the Lynch, but you know what? I think that's all we're going to grab here today. All right, guys, we're back home after the toy hunt. I decided to pick up both of the WrestleMania 36 Seth Rollins. I thought about grabbing the third one, but I actually hid that one. You guys remember where the other one was hidden that I showed you. I went back and put that one back because I'll probably go back and get one. I want to fix up some of these Seth Rollins. You guys can see we got all the Seth Rollins. Any of these sets that I, I'm you know, not feeling the head sculpt on anymore or I want to put the uh, basic 102 slash WrestleMania 36 head sculpt on, I can just you know put it on there. So I'll probably take a couple of those, put them on some of these figures, and fix those up to make them look a little bit better and that should be really cool you know i think that will make that look a lot better so i hate that was the only two figures that we could really find i thought about getting elite series 76 john cena but then i just figured yeah bro you know forget about it got part of the thumbnail from the smackdown review right here but yeah i i, I really did think those hot wheels things were cool too the hot wheels the finn balor one and the jeff hardy were actually really cool i, I kind of want to get them and just hang them up on the wall whether it be like over there somewhere or, or over there. So I, I don't know. I'm running out of room on the walls, man. I ain't got really much room else. I want to rearrange this a little bit and put up some more stuff, but I don't know. We'll just have to see about that, but that pretty much does it for the toy hunt video, guys. I had a ton of fun on the toy hunt. It's been a while since I've done that. You know, I had to wear the mask and everything like that. Going out in public and stuff is kind of difficult at the moment because, you know, you got to, you know, obey all the rules and do all this crazy stuff, and especially when you're carrying a camera around and all that mess. But I had a lot of fun. Always enjoy time with the wifey. JoJo was actually getting watched by his grandmother. We didn't want to get him out in public and all that stuff and have to deal with getting him in and out of the car, you know, while toy hunting would have been kind of messy, you know, especially with everything going on. But that is going to do it for the toy video guys thank you so very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think you would have grabbed down below what did you think of that john cena fig swap i thought that was hilarious follow me on instagram and twitter my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you Quick little editor's note, guys. I wanted to get on here and let you guys know that you need to check your Walmarts because I think Elite 76 is hitting anywhere. So Heavy Machinery, John Cena, Braun Strowman, Lacey Evans, all those figures should be hitting your Walmarts very, very soon. Both of my Walmarts had Elite Series 76. I know you guys saw the Elite 76 John Cena, but my other Walmart that we didn't go to also had Elite Series 76 John Cena and Braun Strowman the last time I was there, which I did not film. It was just grocery shopping. But I did want to get on here and let you guys know that because I didn't mention it in the video. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching enjoyed the toy hunt had a ton of fun thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video thank you